Hey guys, so I've got a little something of a, a, a of a fun one for you today. You can join along at home. You're gonna want to start just with a a glass. Uh, I like this one personally. Any kind will do. Uh, and then of course you're gonna want to get your classic uh, milk. Now, man's been drinking milk. Well, it was before my time, so it's been a while. So you know it's probably good stuff if it sticks around that long. Uh, and so you're gonna wanna take it, you know, 0%, 1%, whole, you know, it's really whatever you fancy. Uh, you do, in fact, uh, need to open it though, is step one. So you're gonna just wanna take that milk and get a nice pour, you know? So like, something like that. Dairy products, man. Uh, and, and of course, after the milk, you're gonna wanna get the modern man's milk. Uh, as many know, it is a Pepsi, uh, a classic choice for many uh, individuals of the day. Uh, and so you can just pop that, I love that. So let's get that sound one more time. Well, that didn't work, uh, but you are just gonna wanna pour the Pepsi right on in there, right on in there. And now ratios are in, important. You know, you got, you got, uh, Well, there's now Pepsi on the floor. Uh, as I was saying, the ratios are important as demonstrated here. Uh, you know, you got you got two thirds, you got five eighths, uh, seven over three, it's all good stuff. But the correct ratio for, for pilk, uh, you're gonna want this nice kind of root beer float consistency. If it looks like milky Pepsi, uh, you're probably gonna wanna add a little more milk. And if it just looks like uh, milk, you're probably uh, gonna wanna add a little more Pepsi. Uh, and a fun thing you'll notice with, with milk is that the milk instantly starts to curdle. It's just a fun, just a fun little chemical reaction. And as with most chemical reactions, uh, the first thing you are going to want to do is consume it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Uh, there's pilk on my crotch. Thank you, guys.